the island suburbs of Stockholm, one startup is making waves in the boating industry by making almost no waves at all. Since we don't make any waves, we can run the boats much faster. The man at the helm is Gustav Hasselskog. The 50-year-old drove a gas-powered boat for decades, clocking up a serious carbon footprint in the process. I realize that that boat consumes like 15 times more fuel than our car. It's why, in 2014, he decided to build a greener boat and founded his startup Candela. I didn't have any track record as an entrepreneur. I didn't have any track record as a, a, anyone working with boats before. He did have a master's in mechanical engineering, though, and had learned about a century-old technique, giving boats wings, known as hydrofoils. We can use now pretty much the same technology as you use in drones to stabilize the boat. A pair of computer-controlled hydrofoils lift the boat out of the water and make micro-adjustments over a hundred times a second. This creates a smooth ride at top speeds of about 55 kilometers per hour, Hasselskog says. The electric engine releases no emissions and no noise, so it's better for marine life, too. Even with the roughly $320,000 price tag, customers seem willing to pay for a cleaner ride. The C8 gained more than 100 orders within six months of launching, Candela says. Candela has been called the Tesla of the seas. You know, they sort of revolutionized the industry of, of electric vehicles. Do you see Candela as having potentially the same kind of impact in the boating industry? We have found a lot of inspiration in Tesla, I think. But when I started Candela, the hottest type of electric car you had at the time was Toyota Prius. Um, and, and what Tesla did was to, to also add a lot of style to electric cars. Candela isn't the only startup looking to emulate Tesla's success on the water. Exshore, a Swedish startup, and Arcboat, created by former SpaceX employees, are both developing high-end battery-powered boats. While GM-backed Pure Watercraft is making electric boats as well as outboard motors to install on existing vessels. But the addition of hydrofoils gives Candela an edge over its battery-powered competitors, it says. By gliding over the waves rather than pushing through them, Candela's boat uses less energy, so can go faster and last longer on a smaller battery. However, leisure boats alone won't move the needle on ocean transport emissions, experts say. Ships emit about 1 billion tons of carbon dioxide each year. When we talk about global shipping, the three uh, largest producers are going to be the uh, container ships, uh, the bulk cargo, and then the tankers. Personal craft is usually the smallest. For Hasselskog, recreational boats are only the start. He's now developing city ferries. That is almost like a traffic airplane where you have a big wing in the front and a small one in the back. Stockholm will trial Candela's 30-seat model for commuter routes in 2023, he says. We have an archipelago countryside who is dependent on this kind of, of transport. And we need to find environmental friendly solutions, but also faster solutions. Because the boat doesn't create a wake, it can go faster through city waterways, Hasselskog says. He hopes this bonus will get more people on board with the mission of greener boating. And that could have a knock-on effect on the wider shipping industry, experts say. You have to think of what's being exposed to the public more often, and it's usually these smaller craft. And building confidence in these smaller microcosms will increase technology awareness for the larger scale. Hasselskog is expanding Candela's facilities this year to put more boats on the water and leave a cleaner future for shipping in their wake.